Hey guys, right, um, I don't know what to say, uh, well I don't, I'm thinking, you know, I like to keep things quite fresh, I'm, I know I'm a bit raw with it as well, but I think what we're trying to say is, is that, turn that down just a little, what, what it is, is, is that, you know, we're all trying, well I say all, there's a percentage of us that are really trying hard to find ways of financially freeing ourselves from the system. And of course we're not at the progression for our country to be free. We need all to be free. Um, people seem to think that, you know, that they're going to get some way in life where they can make things better. And so for some it may be, maybe there is ways people do it, yeah? A lot of hard work and a lot of time. But like me, it's like I'm 54 years old in a few days time and I'm like, you know, they've stolen so much of my life. And what have I got left? I've got nothing left. I don't imagine I'll get a pension. I don't imagine that there's going to be a lot given to anybody at all. Our local councils are atrocities. They, 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 you know, I just can't accept, but I do accept that, you know, it just, it's just got to the point where, where we know what we know. Those of us that know anyway. And I don't think it's an excuse anymore for us not to really know. And then, do you want to be commonplace and ignorant? I don't know. Look, I had a dream this morning, and then I thought, why would I keep on having these dreams? These don't make sense dreams, some of them sexual, but not quiet, and all messed up, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> what is all this? And then, I'll give it some thought this morning, because I'm like, oh, I ain't got nothing to get up before. It's always a miserable day, like it's turned out, because it's sprayed the sunshine away. Um, you know, they've covered us in, a, in this negative field again, so we're lowly in spirit, because we're not getting our, D, our, our vitamin D from the sun. Um, so... I'm like, you know, every day we're just getting this and it's, I know they say it's got to get a lot worse and I'm like, really? It's really kind of bad, really, already. You know, it was never, ever discovered that child trafficking and the abuse on everybody for that matter is so bad, so rampant. And yet, what are we really willing to do about it? This is another problem. And then... You know, what can we do individually? We do need to co collect ourselves as a group. We do need to stop this tyranny and this, this treason of our government and our services. Because you can't, you know, they arrest you expecting to get violent if possible. I've seen how they really abuse the vulnerable people. And we're, I'm a vulnerable in many different ways. I try not to. I try to keep my persona as a non-vulnerable person. But I am vulnerable, really. Many are reasons why I'm vulnerable. But, you know, I'll be there standing beside the strongest of you. Yeah, I will take these down physically if it need be with the strongest of you. And maybe I'm one of the strongest. Who knows? But what we're saying is, is I just can't keep on doing this on an individual basis. I'm getting nowhere. And it's going to be the same for you. Yeah, because you're not grouping up. I mean, who's going to organise? We need to organise, construct groups and group up. Don't be feared to do it. They, they've tried many a different way, but nothing's criminal. This is a lawful, lawful rebellion. So let's do it. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd definitely go and have a conversation with Aaron and take him as leader. Come on, I don't mind. I don't need to be a leader. Someone needs to lead. And we need to lead non-government non-council it need to be the people it need to be we the people yeah and if we don't do this 
You know, where was Robin Hood? He took a stand. I want to go in Fetford Forest, but, you know, can we survive there? Can we get, uh, you know, can we protect ourselves from these gits? Yeah, these wrongans. Those that want to impose government influence and authority and take away our freedoms, our life and freedom. Yeah? You know, I'm not looking to cause any crimes or any harm upon anybody, but it's time that this country stood up for itself. The whole world is watching us, waiting as well, and yet many a country has said, sod this, we're doing it anyway, yeah? Many a country has done this, and what are we doing? You know, you need to get yourself from under the plough of being a, a weak, civil, human that think yourself a person you're not a person that's paper yeah you're a human why can't us humans group up why can't we do this i'm ready to do it now fuck the courts sorry for the swear word but i'm ready to do this now yeah we are going around in circles with all this paper trail we are we need to take action and action means exercising your right as a human being. We need to take our control of our, our lands. Yeah, we need to take back our country. And it ain't about protesting, it doesn't work. Paperwork, it doesn't work. They ignore everything. They have taken the police for their own. They have taken the services for their own and probably the military too. So what are you left with? What? Stick your head in the sand. When you put your head up, they're going to cut it off. You know, they want it for themselves. What are you going to do? It's too late for the paperwork. I know it is. I'm still going to do it because it still means, you know, look. It comes back to um, John, the, the religious John in South Africa, right? It comes back to him. I'll not forget he said many of us want to go common law, but don't go the full mile and do your Alfred of Truth. You need to do it. I'm doing mine. I'm redoing mine again because it needs to be personal from me and not a copy, right? It really does because it means you are an individual then. It's all right having some things from others. You know, if I was literate enough, I'd do it all myself. But I don't, I need to know what words I need to use to express it properly. And it's gonna take me months and months and months to do it. So I can't do it completely on my own. And even the best educated of you can't necessarily do it all on your own. Some of you, like, you know, I know I put video out, it's a bit harsh, but it's true. We shouldn't be taking financials over this. And I get it, time and money. I've spent bare time already. I've been a year in this already, yeah? A year fighting them. A year not paying my taxes. A year with them nicking me, yeah? For non-paying tax on the car, yeah? When they did this, I was insured still. Just wasn't taxed, yeah? And they, they threw me all over the floor. Violence on a civil matter. And they go further afield because they then try and use a chippy tool that was for work, bought by my, my uh, boss, yeah? He say he's willing to stand in court for it. Well, I reckon not, because there's a few more issues and I'm not happy with how that went. I've never done him a wrong, yeah? But he was quick to put the wrong on me. Anyway, but the, the, the point is, is that they took a baseball bat. Now, I was on the street side when they arrested me, when they forced their violence on me, yeah? So far, they haven't given me the footage of their, their cam recorders because I know what I'm going to see. You're going to see the evidence say that I was backing away from them, a fear of what they were attempting to do. I wasn't running anywhere, yeah? But of course, it also will show me attempting to give them the sovereign indications that I was doing, they weren't listening. And I had to shout it because they weren't listening, yeah? And I'm a loud voiced person, human, let me get this right, because I'm still subject to the trickery and wording of this educational system and how everybody talk. You're enslaved in their 
fake, deceptive educational system. The words they use, you use them. And it's become commonplace. So what do we do? Like I said, needs you, some of you, we the people, need to start acting rightly. Protests don't work, right? We need to group and start taking back our country, yeah? We need people to know what they need to do on the paper side, as well as the physical side. We need to stand. And it ain't going you know, you do it now, you're going to do it later. I refer to be doing it as soon as, because the more we wait, the more people go missing, the more people are suffering, yeah? The more they don't know and the more they suffer. i am had enough of the suffering. I suffer every day because of it, yeah? What are you prepared to do with it? No wonder I shouldn't imagine that this will go anywhere. I should imagine that this will go to the bottom of the pile like they always do on YouTube, yeah? But you need to do something. You need to say something. You need to do your paperwork as well as stand up on the physical side, yeah? We need to unite and we need to do it. And you farmers, you stand, you, you're you going to lose your farms. So many we've, we're hearing that's been lost already. How far has this got to go before you end up realising it is war? And it is really civil war. The longer you wait, the more they get control. That's it. And it's no more about keep on letting it carry on. And yeah, I'm calling on all you, even you, Aaron, I'm calling on you. I'll take a lick, mate, but I'm calling on you because you're the head of it, really, at the moment. You're the one that's been out of succeed more than any of us, yeah? There's bare of us willing to put up and start fighting if necessary. Need to make a decision, bruv, yeah? You need to make decision, right? You need to make action, take action. You know this. Yeah? Mate, you might be all right, but who, what are you going to do when they've done away with the rest of us? They're going to come for you in the end because they ain't liking how you've done it. Yeah? And they ain't liking because we are trying to follow. Yeah? So we need to do something. And I didn't want it to go to the extremes, but, mate, they don't care what they're doing to us. They don't care what they're doing to any of us. I know these other people have been working, they've lost their job, they couldn't pay the taxes, and it's the taxes that took them out of their job, because the job don't pay enough, right? <coughs> and then we've got the food and all the inflation, and it don't matter what your government or your Labour or whatever fucking party are saying that they're going to promise you, they ain't got no promises to make. Because they ain't got that, yeah, they ain't got that, right? And they ain't got that, and they ain't got that, right? They ain't got power, and they ain't got authority. They've got word saying, and it's politics. It's no good. It's not going to go anywhere. It's done dusted. Wake up. Aaron, make some decisions. Anyway, on a softer note, people, you still need to gather and do the outfit of truth wherever you can do as best as you can do it right get it sent off get yourself registered to the call too many cops are running and taking the piss out of all of us yeah and i know i know i've had the rough hand of it i've always had the fucking rough hand of it yeah and i took so many years in my life to clear my name for my children repenting, going to church, doing all the necessary that I thought at the time. And then I found Yeshua, yeah? And I don't back off of this, yeah? You could hang me even, I still ain't backing off, yeah? Yeshua, yeah, is the one. Now, going back to when I was saying this morning that I had these dreams and I thought, well, I'm gonna stay in late because at the end of the day, like, I'm like, do you know what? I'm like, I don't have to get up. Why should I be bothered getting up? Well, for the days are dark and miserable, yeah? They keep on spraying everything, right? And I'm fed up with it. Because we don't do nothing. Individually, all the small groups is not enough. Small group I thought I was in, they're no good. It's not good enough. They're going to hate me for saying it, 
yeah? But they're not good enough. They're too engrossed in going to work and earning the money, yeah? Now, I would have been, I've been followed, so with trying to work and do the right thing, doesn't work. I'm the first at the break of the chain, yeah? I'm the first that's been hit. I knew I was gonna be anyway. They're seeking behind my back to, to evict me, and they've been very cunning about it too, right? And they're using the Dole Centre because they won't remove my ex-partner that was 2000 in A, yeah? They, I asked them to take her name off. They said, oh, when you clear the debt. I cleared the debt, I didn't take it off. She said she's asked. They say she hasn't. Oh, I don't believe anything they're saying, right? I've asked them plenty and I've tried to do with it rightly. And then I've got back in rent arrears as well as tax arrears, you know, council tax, because I can't pay it. And because my job never paid me good enough, yeah? And they're saying, oh yeah, what do you do with your money? Always paying the fucking debts. Always paying the council tax. Always paying the rent, yeah? Trying to build things up at the same time, little bits and pieces. And then they want to take it all. Yeah, so I think, hold on, how long have I been working? How long is it? You know, is it, if it's gonna be like it for me, it's like it for you, yeah? So you work all your life, and then they wanna take everything that you have if you have any difficulties, any financials, with their fraud, this have it, because this was, um, what do they call, scripted, yeah? This is scripted upon people. And I know, because when I was down the sittings of vice, I'm sitting next to a guy and just show that it's not a racial thing. Yeah, it's all of us. He's a black man and he have been working, couldn't pay council taxes, ended up losing his job and back in arrears as well. How many of us are they doing it? And what are they looking to do? Pay the foreigners that come over here illegal, give them more money than we get, and expect us to vacate the accommodation that we have, the roof over our head, yeah, our home. Yeah, they expect us. And then what are they gonna do when they got us out? Get the foreigners in, yeah? So, what, they want to make us... Look, that's what I'm saying. They want to make white British people extinct and, and whoever else they can get out as well, yeah, on the street. Who is it and what is it really coming from? I don't know and I don't really care. What I know is we need to stand, we need to, we need to help the farmers, we need to protect our shoreline, we need to kick out those that are here, yeah, because I don't see families... So if there's no family, they ain't welcome. Piss off, right? Because all you're doing is looking to try and make, you know, I don't see why. I mean, we've got our bad problems. I mean, come on. People that have served in the army can't even be accommodated. It's disgusting. Disgusting. How do these people think they're all right in the court? They need to really be, they really need to know that they're gonna swing. They really need to know. Yeah, because as far as I'm concerned, it's getting, a, getting to the approaches of being, forget this, you're willing to sit and agenda people. Yeah, with your authority that is only legalese under fraud and deception, because it's not real law. You've been so deceptive and fraudulent over the possession of every, you know, people are buying their new cars, Land Rovers, Mercedes. You don't own it. You do not own it. I see all you people thinking you're driving around in your comfort. You don't own it. DVLA own it. And I'll bet you any money they won't let you have the paperwork to show that you do now legally own it. Don't matter what the paper trail is, they sold it. Yeah, they sold it with Tony Blair. He was the cop, cul culprit that sold it all. Yeah, wake up. It's too late. You need to wake up. Paper trail don't work.